This is Juan Ortiz, and we're here with a very special project, right? We call this Trading Talents. I'm here with my good friend, Mr. Tony Plana. Ahua! Well, Trading Talents is something very special, and Tony, I've heard so much about it. It's, it's the worst kept secret, <laughs> but I've heard that you've done some singing on Broadway. So tell us a little bit about that very special moment. Okay, well, it wasn't Broadway, but it was the Pasadena Playhouse. But um, you've been talking to the wrong people. <laughs> okay, fun. But this is uh, a funny story. It was a Jose Feliciano scored and written musical version of Ray Bradbury's The Wonderful Ice Cream Soup. And the premiere was at the Pasadena Playhouse. The and Jose Alfred. I mean, the Jose, Jose Feliciano. Feliciano. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride my fire, ride my fire. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, um, he was wonderful. We got to meet him and he worked with us. And, but um, I was the only one, I mean, I, I got one of the leads and I was the only one of the leads that had not, you know, sung on Broadway. The opposite, right? I did not have Broadway credits. Everybody else did. And very legit. And so I was an imposter. <laughs> I was there, I was faking it. And, um, and everybody helped me to be able to deliver the song. Um, and then when the reviews came out, which are very good, um, I was singled out as a vocal standout in the wow. musical. And so it was like, everybody was so like, how is that possible? <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for us, he would never have been able to sing it. Luckily it was rock and roll, so you can, <laughs> it's, it's not precise exactly music, but. But what was interesting is that I, I took the, the uh, I took the uh, review and I highlighted that line, I pasted <laughs> it on my dressing room wall, you know, wow. uh, and I was just testing the door actually, so they could walk come by and they, would, they started like making comments, BS, and <laughs> <laughs> that's like imposter. <laughs> and if it's okay with you, I'd like to give you. A few tips. Please, I'm, I'm open. And take you, know, you to the other level. I wish you were there when I was doing the ice cream <laughs> soup. Well, the first thing is always breathing. <clears throat> okay. Breathing is the most important aspect when it comes to singing. So when you breathe, you want to go ahead and take a deep breath without picking up any part of your body. It all has to come directly from your mouth, your nostrils, and you have to expand your diaphragm, which is the stomach area. Yes, of course. So many mis misconceptions would be the breathing in with... The shoulders, yeah. and, that, and that is a misconception. So all you want to do is breathe and don't let anything else happen. But you fill up your cavity, your abdomen, your diaphragm muscle, then contracts. So you make it tight as though someone's going to hit you in the stomach. So you make it really nice and tight. And from there, you just relax your throat, relax your face, relax your lower mandibular. La quejada. All right, so uh, you lower that and everything else. Flows. Okay, so that's the first component. Here we go. Ready? Breathe in. One, two, three, and breathe out. Excellent. I wish all my students were as good as you. Excellent. I mean, I, you know, I hate to break it to you, but actors who do classical work and interpret Shakespeare practice the exact breathing. The technique. Yes, except not to sing. Correct. To speak. Exactly. And to speak in a large theater and there be able you go. to resonate. I don't know. I think you're ready <laughs> to do the most iconic Thanks song. Thanks to you. No, 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 no. Thanks to your time. A teacher is only as good as a student. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Vice versa. <laughs> well, this next song is iconic. And my favorite composer of all the composers, Megas, is Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Siempre lo que quiero de gratitud y mi palabra es la No tengo trono ni reina ni nadie que me comprenda, pero si yo siento el rey. Sí, señor, sí, señor. Love it. Thank you. Okay. 
So, Juan, if I may be so bold, because listen, I, I'm going to try and give you a lesson in acting. Okay, but, great. But I have to say that you already are a very good actor <laughs> because the way you interpret your songs, that cannot happen without good acting, right? Correct. If you don't, if you don't feel, if you don't understand and feel a song, and you don't have a certain purpose for the song, of, of singing the song, it's not going to be a good song. And it's not going to be well sung. Character, you know, is usually defined by relationship. Okay. So, what is the relationship between, for example, this little movie I made, uh, where I played a character named El Jefe, and you would be playing a character named El Guapo. Oh, I guess. So, okay, so, uh, and we, we have a little scene here we're going to read together, and so just defining the relationship, I, Hefe, feel subservient to you. I feel inferior to you. You, a guapo, who are the boss, the, the leader of the, of the, the gang, you know, of, of ruffians or bandits, you feel superior to me, authoritarian to me. Don't worry, Aguapo. He will be here. But I think you will like your other presence too. Oh, yes. I think I know what you mean. Oh, yes, Aguapo. No, you question me. Are you sure? So you're saying, are you sure with the, oh, yes? Okay. See? So I'm going, he will be here, Aguapo. Don't worry. But I think you will like your other presence too. Oh. Yes? Oh, yes, El Guapo. I have put many piñatas in the storeroom, each of them filled with little surprises. Many, many piñatas. Now, let's stop there, okay? And let's do that again. Okay. okay. So this time, you have to be, I think, much, not, much less nice, much harder with me. Okay. You know, he's in a bad mood already. And I'm trying to make you feel better. Okay. And I said, oh, you're trying to make me, f you're, you're, you're thinking as your reasoning is like, you're trying to make me feel better? Well, you're going to have to work a little harder, if it. So, um, let's try it again. Um, ah, don't worry, he will be here with a bubble. But I think you would like your other presents too. No. Yes? Oh, yes, El Guapo. I have put many piñatas in the storeroom, each of them filled with little surprises. M many? Many piñatas? Oh, yes, many. Would you say, El Jefe, that there is a plethora of piñatas? What? A plethora. A plethora. Hmm. Oh yes, you have a plethora. Jefe, do you even know what the meaning of plethora is? <laughs> Why, Lapo? Jefe, if you're going to use the word plethora, I would want to think that you, as my jefe, knows what the word and the meaning of plethora is. We're thankful for trading talents. Tony, you and I, gracias. A Listos? Ti. Oh, yeah. Ahua! Ven y piñata. Si el guapo. Do you think it's a plethora of piñata? What is a plethora el guapo? I would think that my jefe would know the meaning of plethora. Now that you mention it, el guapo, 
I just remembered what a plethora is. And I think, oh, let me think, oh, let me think some more. I'm just gonna guess it. 